I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Morgan Freeman is now a GPS navigation voice. Freeman is the latest celebrity voice to be added to Google's free navigation app, Waze. The voice feature is a marketing tie-in for Freeman's upcoming film, London Has Fallen. Freeman plays the vice president in the movie, and when you're using your GPS, he addresses you, the driver, as if you are the president. Their other option was for him to call you Miss Daisy, but some people thought that might be a little inappropriate. Charlie Sheen says he went on his 2011 ranting about having tiger blood and winning because he was taking too much testosterone cream. Sheen tells TV host Dr. Oz that was a very specific period of time that did feel very out of body and very just detached from all things real. I felt superhuman doing some of that. Based on what he's admitted, though, to doing lately, I don't know if too much testosterone cream back in 2011 was the least of his problems. An Australian woman was experiencing chest pains, so her daughter called for an ambulance. 20 minutes after the woman was taken to the hospital, a guy in a truck went off the road and hit the woman's house, slamming into the room she had been sitting in all day. The chest pains saved her life, and doctors say they were likely caused by indigestion. That's right, unhealthy eating saved this woman's life. So get off my back about my love for McDonald's. Death Valley in California is one of the world's most inhospitable places, but it's wooing photographers with a display of more wildflowers in over a decade thanks to October rainfall. So, with Death Valley in bloom, it's now official. The most lifeless place in America is Congress. Dr. Ben Carson feels that President Obama was raised white and therefore doesn't understand the black experience. Okay, thank you, Dr. Ben Carson, for continuing the spread of racism. We appreciate it. A man in England has legally changed his name to Bacon Double Cheeseburger. And he's trying to talk his pregnant wife into naming their soon-to-be son Whopper Jr. Donald Trump's latest attacks on Ted Cruz include calling him the single biggest liar he's ever met. Well, you know, except for the Pope. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. You can find more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, where you can also download the free Daily Dose of Weird News app for Apple or Android. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. You can hire me to voice your projects. You can also find audiobooks that I've narrated and more. That's DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you're going to be in the Madison, Wisconsin area on Sunday, March 6th, well, come out and see me at the Madison Comic Con. Details in the right-hand column at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Thank you.